Hey guys, so tonight's episode of um, No Man's Sky How To, we're going to do the tutorial because uh, I'm not going to lie. Um, when I did the tutorial, it took somebody explaining to me what the hell I was doing to actually figure out what was going on. Because to be honest, this tutorial is blink and you miss it. So let's get straight into it, okay? I'm going to make this as simple as possible because it's me. Right. So, first thing it's telling us to do is we need to perform a scan to find sodium. So, to find sodium or to do a scan, it's just left uh, left stick. Right, but, scanner is broken. So, we need to find some ferrite dust. Okay, so to find ferrite dust, you have a look at that. That says ferrite dust, you shoot it. Alright. Electric shoot ferrite dust. It tells you in the bottom right hand corner how much ferrite you need, which is 75, so it's going to be a lot of these little rocks. Keep going for these. Oh, we're up to 50. Hit that, right. So, bigger rock, more ferrite dust. Let's go for it. So there we go. We have the 75 so it says repair scanner damage so to do this what you do is press the left hand menu button um it used to be called the back button i don't know what it's called now you really know but that opens up your inventory so you open your inventory you press a on the item that needs repairing and then a again that's it repaired. Simple. Okay, so we need to do a scan, which is left stick. Click the left stick down, and you'll see we have O2, H, which is hydrogen, uh, and Na. Okay, let's see if there's any closer to me. Yep, yeah, there's one right there. So oh, we run over. Press X on these, because you're not shooting them, you're picking them. Okay. And then to recharge, you press down on the D-pad, where it comes recharge equipment. Okay, then press A, hazard protection, press A, sodium, A. So that should give us a, couple, a bit of protection. You'll see in the bottom left hand of the screen, we've got two bars. The white bar is our uh, life support system and the red bar is the hazard protection system. Okay, you want to keep an eye on them because they do go down at different rates. Right, so, now all it wants to do is go to that signal. So, bit of a run, bit of a jog. What I'll do is I'll speed through this and actually when we get there. Right then, so we're nearly at the marker, and as you can see, it looks like there's a ship crashed here. So, we run over to the signal. And there's a distress beacon. So, we open up the distress beacon uh, with pressing and holding X, and you get a little bit of thing. A little spiel of what's going on. So, da -da 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 -da. skip through that, you don't need that. You Obviously, when you're doing the tutorial, you can read that. Uh, I've already read it. So, we broadcast the signal. There we go. Right, so, it's a crash ship. We need to investigate it. Let's and hold X to get him on board. And then it tells you what's wrong with the ship. So, the ship is... bust, basically. Uh, we need to fix the launch thrusters, and we need to fix the pulse engine. Oh, right, so we need to repair the ship systems. But ship systems to repair. So, so it's the pulse engines and the launch thrusters. So, what do we need for the... 
launch thrusters. So what you do is you open up your inventory tab again and then you right button across space, uh, spaceship or starship or whatever it is they call it. Yeah, and then have a look. So we need 50 pure ferrite and one dihydrogen jelly. Right. And then we need a hermetic seal and plate, metal plating. Okay. So, first we're going to do the engines. So, as it says there, repair the pulse engine, we need metal plating. Okay, so this is where you need to open up your crafting menu. Alright, so your crafting menu. Again, it's in your inventory. And you just press A on one of the empty slots. Metal plating, you need 50 ferrite dust. So, let's go gather some ferrite. And there we have it, 50 ferrite dust. So, going to here, as it's showing there, it is opened up. So, press A on it. Delta metal plating, which is now coloured in, and press A. There you have one metal plate. Okay. Press A on the pulse engine, as it was flashing there, and then A on the metal plating. That's that bit repaired. But, it's still not fully repaired, because we still need a hermetic seal. So, tells you to get back on the ship you don't need to get back on the ship literally just open up your inventory scroll over to your starship and see there's red flashing that's the damage systems so hermetic seal so again that's in your crafting menu ah right so we haven't got a hermetic seal that's a pain right so I am gonna have to jump in here probably gonna tell me where to go next Right, on green. This engine requires hematic seal. Quest assistance. Where's it going to send us to? Okay, so. Uh, yeah, there's a crash site. But well, it's this crash site. Come on over here. Access the distress beacon again. Planetary chart. Uh, I will do an episode on planetary charts, uh, but what you need to know is the. Um, right, so press and hold X on the planetary chart, and it will plot the route for you. Little waypoint on. Good. Okay, hey, so it is 900 U away. Great. Okay, so I'm going to head over there. I will catch you in a second. Right, so we're coming up on the building now. So we're running to this building. Uh, again, guys, when you're doing this um, this part of the tutorial, search the building, search everything. Uh, I am going to bypass searching everything just because I've done it. I know what I'm doing. Right, access an archive. Da, 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 da. Again. So we've got the hermetics. Now I will say, um, while I was coming over here, a storm broke out. Cleared now. No, it hasn't, okay? So you can see the bottom left of my screen there. A oh, waypoint. Alright, that's fine. Ugh. Right, so we need carbon nanotubes. But as I was saying, a storm broke in, and as you can see, my protection was dropping, which is why I had to detour over and get some sodium. Right, so we need to do the visual 
visor. Visor? Visual visor analysis thing on the thing. Right, so. The way you install. Uh, empty spot. X to install technology. Analysis visor is what we need. And it needs nanotubes. Okay. So, four nanotubes. We need carbon. Carbon is mostly trees. Get a lot of carbon from trees. But with your mining beam, just keep shooting at it. Breaks down. Right, so there's the 50 that we need. Again, back into the crafting menu, which again, watch with inventory. Then A on an empty slot. There's your carbo nanotubes. Carbo nanotubes. Carbon nanotubes. A lot of big words on here. And I keep. Right, so then we need to finalize the installation. So we go back into our inventory, we go across to the. Yeah, I just can't get my words out tonight, guys. So you get, go back onto that one, and then A. Get your little slot there. So there we have. That is fixed. Right, so where's our starship? There's our starship. The starship on the visor looks like. That looks like a ship. Like another. A few other things. But in this one, we're going to call it a ship. Right. So I'm going to head back over there and catch you in a couple of minutes. Oh, hang on. Hang on. Right. So we need to test it. So left trigger opens up the visor, finds something, it'll see the empty box there with all the question marks, uh, all you have to do, press and hold the right trigger, it'll start scanning, and then I'll tell you what it is. Yeah, it's simple. Right, back off we go. And here we are back at the ship. So, on the ship, we've got the automatic seal. Back into there, pulse engines, press A on them. It says that, a uh, hermetic seal, press A. That is the pulse engines fixed. So, now the launch thruster. We need pure ferrite and dihydrogen jelly. Okay. So the first thing we need to do is uh, to make pure ferrite, we need to take ferrite dust and then refine it into your ferrite. But to do that, we need a port portable refiner. So you press up on the D-pad, that brings up your... Right, so, yes. Press it up. So we need a metal plating and some oxygen to make a portable refiner. But first, it wants us to collect some dihydrogen. Thermal protection is falling, so sodium before we do. Uh oh. Any supplies in here? Sodium, no, that's not. That's sodium nitrate. Sodium nitrate. I want sodium. Ah, right. This is the time for us to nearly burn.
Okay, so I've charged my things now. Um, one stupid thing that I did realise when I was going around there, I was looking for sodium, but you can use sodium nitrate to charge your hazard protection, which I did pick up, so let's dump that in there as well. Okay, I won't lie to you. If I make a mistake, I'll let you. Right, so dihydrogen crystals. They are blue. Uh, they are marked with a H for hydrogen on the scan throw it in clusters crystals ah nuts that, that's typical that so I can't farm this one because I need an advanced mining laser don't get for a while so we need normal crystals there's the normal crystal so that please zaps that yeah, farm all these. We need 40. Like any other first person shooter, it's right trigger to use your little laser. As you go on in the game, there are different modes for the link. But just for this quick tutorial, I won't bore you by going through. Alright, maybe in another video. Right, there we go. So we need to craft dihydrogen jelly. So can we remember how we craft dihydrogen jelly? Or any craft anything? That's right. We go into the inventory, we press A on an empty slot, we press A on the dihydrogen jelly, and there we have dihydrogen jelly. So easy to craft. So so easy. Not a pain at all. Right, so we need to grease the launch thruster with the dihydrogen jelly. That sounds Super job. Right. Oh, again, we've gone into the launch thruster. Press A for the dihydrogen jelly. Right, so we need pure ferrite. Pure ferrite, and we need a portable refiner. Portable refiners are great. Once you make one, keep it on you at all times. It takes up one storage spot, but keep it on you. So that when you're on a planet that you haven't been to before and you've got no resources, at least you've got a refiner that you can start refining things. So, we need ferrite dust. Uh, ferrite dust. Lots of ferrite. This one. 25? Give me 25. Yes! There we go. So. For a portable refiner, we need metal plating. Metal plating obviously is crafted, so we go into the craft menu, we find the metal plating, we press A on it, and there we go. Right, now we need to construct a portable refiner. So we need oxygen. So, oxygen! There's the oxygen there. So, there's an oxygen rich plant, it's a hundred away. It's too long to go to, but there's more here. There we go. Oxygen rich plants. So again, to pick the plants, it's X. Mine things, it's. Cool. Oh, right. So my life support is a little bit low. Life support. Yeah. But I don't want to because I want to make the portable refiner. So once you've got all the materials needed to make the portable refiner, find a spot where it goes green and then just right. No waiting, no mess, no fuss. Right, so now we need to access this. So it's press and hold X to access it. You go to the fuel inverter. Yeah, you need some fuel. Carbon's a good fuel. Stick some carbon in there. Right, now to make pure ferrite, you need ferrite dust. Oh, go find some ferrite dust. How much pure ferrite do we need? Wait a minute. So, uh, bottom right hand corner is telling me what to do as we go along in the bottom right hand corner, but like I say, it is sometimes harder to charge. Oh no, right, it's perfect, right, if your mining beam runs out of charge, it takes carbon to restock it. Now obviously, if you've got no carbon, uh, 
you need to do it the old fashioned way, which is walk up to a tree and then right button, the button which punches it. Yeah, just keep punching the tree. Get a little bit of carbon off it. Take so... some carbon. Bosh, there we go. And then we can use that to cut down the rest of this tree so we've got full carbon so I don't have to worry about it later. Go, right. Yeah, that is enough. Kind of full. Ferrite dust. Right, we have the ferrite dust. Then go back over to your refiner, press and hold X to access the refiner. Now on the input, right, you put the ferrite dust on the input. Yeah, You can either click on the, the begin button there or as it's hidden there, press and hold X and that begins it automatically no matter where you cursor it. So again, not much of a wait. There we go. Oh, remember to take the resources out. I know it sounds silly, but I'm always forgetting. So press A on the pure ferrite, dump it in your exosuit. There we go. So back onto the launch thrusters of the ship. Oh, we need pure ferrite. And that, guys, I hope that was pretty clear. Uh, I'm going to pick that up because, like I say, take it with you. Right. I hope that was all straightforward. Um, uh, I am a firm believer that, like in this game, once you get out into space, it all starts making sense. So uh, that's all it is now. So to take off, right trigger. Flies like a bl uh, plane. Um, pretty simple. I think you can change the settings. Um, so that it's inverted or not inverted but that's it guys that's pretty much the start of the tutorial done let me know in the comments if you want me to carry on the tutorial to let you know the next steps of the tutorial or if that you're happy with this um, don't forget to hit that like button if this is your first time watching one of my videos guys check out my other videos hit that subscribe button um, but apart from that have a good evening Peace out. I am out of here.